As night fell, Themistocles met the leaders of the other Greek city-states on the island of Salamis. They had also assembled their much smaller fleets here. Their scouts had reported back. The Persians now not only held Athens, but had also gathered a mighty fleet four times the size of the Greek forces. But Themistocles' plans were laid. Themistocles sticks to his guns, and his plan is to defeat the Persians at sea. He wants to fight in this narrow body of water between the island of Salamis and the Athenian mainland. The trick is going to be to get the enemy to fight there, because the Persians aren't stupid. Themistocles sent his servant to Xerxes with a seemingly traitorous message. The Greeks are afraid and are planning to slip away. They're squabbling with each other and will offer no opposition. You have at this moment an opportunity of unparalleled success. So eager was Xerxes for a crushing victory, he was happy to believe Themistocles' ploy. Xerxes marshals his admirals and they embark and they spend the night rowing. They send a contingent along the eastern defile, the strait there. They try to block up the straits. Only as the dawn rose did the Persians realize the true nature of Themistocles' plan. They discovered the Greeks not in disarray, but ranged in a battle line across the narrows in front of them. The Persian fleet had been lured so far up the straits that it had no room to maneuver. The powerful Greek triremes bore down on them without mercy. The Greek playwright Aeschylus fought in the battle and lived to tell the tale. We heard from every part this voice of exhortation. Advance, ye sons of Greece. From slavery save your country. Save your wives, your children save. This day the common cause of all demands your valor. The Greek forces smashed into the cornered Persian fleet. Xerxes himself watched the carnage from his golden throne placed on the shore. At the end of the battle, the Persians had lost 200 ships. For the Greeks, it was a stunning and conclusive victory. Victory at Salamis is tremendously important for Greece and for the Athenians. It breaks the Persian navy. The Persians can no longer guarantee that they can feed their army, nor can they guarantee the safety of the Persian king he must immediately get back to Asia Minor while the going is good. In practical terms, the game is over and the Greeks have won. Themistocles' triumph was complete. He had persuaded the Athenians to build a navy. He had convinced them to sacrifice their entire city to bring them victory at sea. His instincts had been proved right. He had defeated the greatest empire of the day. And he had now placed Athens in a position where she could build an empire of her own. <laughs>